Well, hello everybody. My name is Juan. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the brief history of cheese. A food that probably everybody has tasted before in their life. Well, everybody should know that in the world there's thousands of kinds of cheese. And you can see that it's not just a usual delicacy, but it's a very, very nutritious food. It could be found in nearly everything, found in toast that you eat, found in pizza, or even simply just you eating it without any food. Cheese is a very famous kind of food that a lot of us have probably eaten before. But probably a lot of you guys don't know about the history of cheese. But for today's video, we're going to be talking about it. Well, in 8000 BCE, when the farmers in the Halifax area raised a lot of kinds of cows and cows, they start to get done in harvesting milk. And one time, farmers harvested milk, but they forgot to put it inside. After a sunny day, the milk then got gone up and got moved up into a kind of solid thing that is called cheese, what we taste today. Since that day on, people discovered that the food is not just an ordinary thing, but it could be tasted without even cooking or preparing but still tastes super good. And so from that day on, it has become Neolithic people's survival advantage for them to make cheese to spread from all around the world. As soon as cheese, as the cheese making formula got adopted in a lot of places, they have actually consumed and considered cheese as a part of their daily food. In the Roman Emperor, they actually even give the soldiers and the warriors cheese as a survival food because of its delicacy. A lot of places got cheese served daily and in the past the roman emperor made enough cheese for the whole place to eat for years just because of its delicacy doesn't mean that that all makes cheese very famous but because cheese is way much more better than just usual milk Milk in the up, milk in one hand have a lot of nutrition, have a lot of proteins, but it has a lot of lactose, a kind of sugar in which people does not consume easily. But while like that, cheese with the same amount of nutrition and protein, and it's also tasty. You can see that cheese is not as lactonized as milk which is a super big advantage for cheese eaters now these days many poor people embrace cheese than ever cheese could be put in into soup into pizzas and noodles or simply is a dusty that you could just fried up to eat as a vegetarian dish. Well, as soon as some thousand years ago, m many, many peoples, especially the monks, experimented endlessly milk flavors and cheese making practices, which comes into the kind of cheese that we mainly eat today. The mozzarella, the purna, a lot of kind of cheese are made in this period where the monks make cheese. 
And so a big, big, big amount of cheese come from this Wolverland, this Wolverland, which is a, where cheese is a very, very widespread food. So I hope that after this video, you've actually understand about the meaning and the important place and value that cheese have in our history. Well, I hope that you enjoyed my video. Goodbye. See you next time.